This is the female reproductive system. We have the vagina, we have the uterus, and off to either side we have the ovaries. So the vagina is sometimes referred to as the vaginal canal. Again, leads into the uterus, which has several parts to it. There is the fundus, there's the body, and there is the cervix, fundus, body, cervix. And leading out from the uterus, we have the uterine tubes. You'll see another uterine tube on this side as well, oftentimes referred to as the fallopian tubes. And at the end of those fallopian tubes, we have these fimbrae. You'll see the fimbrae here, kind of like the fringes that come off the end. And those are what accept the released oocytes, or the egg cells that come from the ovary. You can see an ovary on this side intact. You can see an ovary on this side that shows a sectional view where you can actually see the ovarian cycle taking place. But again, when a egg cell is released, gets picked up, travels all the way down and implants into the uterus. We have structures that hold all of this in place. We have the broad ligament. You can see that here on this side and here as well. Broad ligament covers this entire structure. We have the ovarian ligament. Ovarian ligament holding the ovary in place. We have the suspensory ligament. You'll see one here on this side. You'll see suspensory ligament over here as well. You can see the uretosacral ligament on this side, uretosacral, and then this region right here is referred to as the mesovarium, the mesovarium.